hey guys welcome back to our channel it's a girl funny lungu back with another reaction video if you're new welcome if you're not welcome back thank you for 21.6 subscribers you guys are the best keep subscribing liking commenting sharing everything that you guys do never goes unnoticed hope you guys are doing all right and may you stay blessed please motivate me by giving me stuff to react to just give me the name or the link down below and i'll be sure to check it out find us on facebook and instagram as funny and jesse say hi we'll say hi back our second youtube channel called funny and jesse 2.0 head there subscribe and enjoy the lovely vlogs that we post there so today i'm going to be reacting to don't make dua like the devil so without wasting time let's get into the video The fact that Adam alayhi salam made dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala immediately when he realized that he made a mistake. Adam immediately made dua. When he ate from the tree and his nakedness became apparent to him and he began to cover himself with the, with the leaves of the tree, immediately he realized he made a mistake, instantaneously, and he made a dua right then and there. What did he say? ربنا ظلمنا أنفسنا وإن لم تغفر لنا وترحمنا لنكونن من الخاسرين. Oh my Lord, I have wronged. We have wronged ourselves. And if you don't forgive us and you don't have mercy on us, then of a surety we will be of those who are lost. So of the signs of a mu'min, of the signs of a true follower of Adam, not just a descendant of Adam, but a follower of Adam. All of us are descendants of Adam. But some of us choose to follow the methodology of the Prophet Adam, of the sign of the prophetic methodology. You make dua immediately when there is a need. You don't delay it. When you commit a sin, when you need anything worldly or religious or spiritual, you make the dua right then and there. Contrast this to Iblis. Iblis, Allah tells him to prostrate. He says, no, I'm not going to. I'm not going to prostrate. I'm better than him. This is jahiliyyah. This is, this is racism. I'm better than him because I have a better creation material than you do. My skin color is better. My ethnicity is better. My language is better. We still have the same satanic racism present amongst Muslims to this day. The same satanic racism. I am better than so-and-so because of where I'm from, because of the color of my skin, etc., etc. So Iblis says, I am better than him. I'm not going to prostrate. So Allah curses him until the day of judgment. Allah tells him to leave. And Iblis in his arrogance refuses, refuses till the very last second until he realizes he has no other alternative and he sees this curse and he realizes he shall forever be cursed. So then Iblis is forced to make a dua. Unlike Adam, Adam makes the dua coming from him. Adam makes the dua instantaneously. Iblis, he only makes dua when all other opportunities are closed, when everything else is shut off. And he sees now there's nothing else for me. Well, let me try making dua. And so Iblis also makes a dua. What is the dua that Iblis makes? Qala anzirni ila Iblis says, oh, Allah, uh, oh my Rabb, oh Allah, allow me to live until the day of judgment. Let me live until the day of judgment. And so right from the get-go, we learn a fundamental difference between Adam and Iblis. Adam alayhi salam has a continual link with Allah. He's always making dua. Iblis, this was the only time he ever made dua. He never made dua after this. The only time because he's gotten his need. Adam alayhi salam, when he came down to this earth, we know he was a prophet, a righteous man. He continued to worship, he continued to pray, he continued to make dua. So the sign of a believer is constant dua. When you ask man for more and more, he becomes angry at you. But when you ask Allah for more and more, He loves you. I repeat, the more you ask of your fellow man, the more irritated he becomes at you. You don't ask your friends too much because then they won't be your friends too more, too, too, for too long. But as for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the more you ask Allah, the more Allah loves you. Why? Because the relationship between Allah and His servant is one of servitude. Is that not correct? What is our relationship between ourselves and Allah? It is one of servitude. What does the servant need? Everything from the master. What does the servant require? What doesn't he require? He requires everything. 
Not just his clothes, his food, the air that we breathe, Allah gives it to us. The life that we have, Allah gives it to us. How can the servant feel arrogant against Allah? How can the servant say, I can't ask Allah this? Who else are you going to ask? Where else are you going to get it from? A sign of Iman is to recognize that everything that you need will only come from Allah. And once you recognize that, who else are you going to ask other than Allah? And therefore, making dua is a characteristic of faith, is a characteristic of Iman. وَقَالَ رَبُّكُمْ أُدْعُونِي أَسْتَجِبْ لَكُمْ Your Lord has commanded you, said to you, make dua to me, I will respond to you. This is a command from Allah, make dua, I will respond to you. And our Prophet wasallam said, Verily, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is angry at the person who does not ask him. Allah is angry at such a person because he's showing arrogance. He's showing a sense of superiority. And how can a'udhu billah, any created being, show an iota of pride, show an atom's weight of superiority against the divine? How is this even possible? So, the mu'min is ever making dua. The mu'min is making dua for each and every need of his. The mu'min is always engaged. Dua is a conversation with Allah. Dua is our conversation with Allah. And therefore, the one whose iman is high is forever having a conversation. Uh, that was an important message we just watched and um, it speaks volumes, you know. Sometimes we're so into whatever we're doing that day that we forget about God. I love the fact that there's the theme of praying five times a day for a Muslim, each and every day, not when you choose, because um, you're programming your day you're programming yourself to always do that every day the fact that you're doing it every day it becomes a routine and you remind yourself to you know to speak god to speak to god and that's a very very interesting thing to do the more you do something the more you will remember it to do but if you're going to be um doing things only when you feel like then um you're going to forget not to do it be intentional with speaking to god be intentional with leaning on god be intentional with asking from god and whatever you ask god believe that god is going to come through don't sit there and say i'm asking for forgiveness then you sit there tormenting yourself saying but this was wrong and i knew it god won't forgive me no don't do that believe that there's positivity that's going to come with having a relationship with god with talking to god with praying to god you know knock and not knock but ask and you shall be given ask whatever you want and it shall be given to you trust in the process of speaking to god you know sometimes humans are going to disappoint us but let's not blame god for humans disappointing us that's human nature we can't always come through you know and um people will wrong you what the world will turn against you whatever the situation is of course there's some good things in it but god god doesn't change switch up on us that's one thing we should keep with us each and every time we are nothing without god and if we want to act like we're everything we'll soon learn from our actions i think for those that are into god always always put god first in everything whether we're wrong put god first whether we're right put god first you know we're celebrating something put god first yes i have wrong i've done some wrong run to god just like when you do something wrong to someone be quick to apologize don't wait days and weeks to issue an apology to someone so let me know what you guys think about this amazing um video and the devil you know what when that's what i'm saying when you are when you realize that you're wrong be quick to correct your actions don't be naive don't be arrogant that would be your downfall and we saw and we read about the downfall of the devil let me know what you guys actually think please motivate me by giving me stuff to react to make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video